Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at January 16 through the 22nd. And what a week. It's Inauguration Week here in the US. And of course, that means that Gemini Donald Trump is being sworn in as President of the United States, much to the, shall we say, horror of many Americans and people throughout the world, not just Americans. Elsewhere in the universe, Mars, the planet of energy, and Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, which is in your sign this year, uh, slugging it out. And this is happening twice this year. It's happening this week and it's happening in October. So things remain intense this week, following on from that incredible full moon in Cancer, the sign of the mother, last week. And a change also on tap for the sun moving into Aquarius, which is a much better placement for you. Heavyweights Mars and Saturn square off twice this year, as I said. When Mars and Saturn are battling it out, it's like driving full speed ahead with the handbrake on. And this indicates that the new administration may get off to a rather slow start in 2017. The sun changes signs for the first time this year moving into Aquarius. So the general focus shifts from the bottom line to the realm of ideas and possibilities. Although the sun is slightly uncomfortable in airy Aquarius because it's harder for the sun's warm-hearted nature to express itself through Aquarius's rational and emotionally detached lens, that lens is going to come in handy during this week's Mars-Saturn frustrations. The challenge for the next month for our new leader is going to be able to keep a cool head without forgetting that she or he, well, we wrote this was we wrote this before we knew who was going to win, and I must say that we went both ways. He has a heart, and I think a lot of people feel that the Donald doesn't have a heart, and it's going to be interesting to see if he softens or gets harder as his presidency uh, really kicks off. You know, he hasn't really had a taste for living in Washington and all of that sort of stuff yet and being away from his wife and child. So it's going to be a very interesting year, not only for the US, but for the world, because of course, you know, Australia is very much caught up with what America's doing, you know, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a slugfest and it's going to be interesting and it's probably going to be something that, you know, unforeseen circumstances too. Being a Gemini, you just never know what's going to happen next. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.